Salutations SF Weekly. I'm thrilled to be sharing an excerpt from my new novel, Fight Song. A week ago Tuesday, Bob Coffin had been minding his own tawdry business on the internet. Wife and kids sleeping the night away. He was another half-drunken, lonely, sad, suburban father, sitting in his study, inappropriately conducting fevered searches regarding the shaving habits of certain co-eds who were okay with strangers witnessing the upkeep of their nether regions. Coffin gawked and googled and swigged vodka on the rocks from a sweating tumbler and munched nacho cheese Doritos. And a rhythm developed between these motions, gawking, googling, slurping, munching, it was the vodka that presented the first problem piece of the puzzle. See, in his haste and enthusiasm, Coffin wasn't paying attention to the condensation from the glass. How it made his fingers moist. How, with the next clumsy dip of his hand into the Doritos bag, the orange dust plastered itself to it. Under normal circumstances, he would have identified the vibrant sticking orange dust and properly cleaned it off. But he wasn't exactly in his right mind. A combustion slowly stoking in his body and as the scene built to its dejected ending he dropped his pants and latched his phallus in his fist and the vibrant gummy orange dust transferred and stuck to it like fluorescent sawdust. Meanwhile, Jane Coffin, thirsty, awakened and wondering why Coffin hadn't come to bed, burst into his office and observed the scene for herself. Bob yanking sadly, his prick bright orange. Shame rained on him immediately. Coffin thought, two people can know each other so well and yet there are always new ways to disappoint your partner, disappoint yourself. He quickly pulled up his pants and pushed his fluorescent orange penis inside. Jane said before walking out, geez, Bob, those chips are supposed to be for the kids. Thanks very much.